Hi, this is Alexis from Akenza. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our data generator to simulate device data. So that can be quite helpful if you don't have a physical device at hand, but still want to try out the many features of Akenza. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to create a data flow which defines the data processing chain in Akenza. For that, I can create a new data flow from scratch or simply use our device simulator template, which is what I'm going to do right now. So as you can see, the data flow is already populated with an HTTP device connector, our device simulator, and we're storing the data in the Akenza database. Now, if I want, I can add a connector and send the data to Azure IoT Hub or an email, but I'm not going to do it uh, for now. That's it. Now I can already save my data flow. I will give it a name, optionally a description, and I will click on this checkbox to proceed with the device creation. Now I can give a name to my device, a description. I won't be assigning any tags or custom fields at the moment. As you can see, the data flow that we created previously is assigned to this device, so I can just click Next. I can generate the ID of the device and create my device. Coming back to our asset inventory, the newly created device is present here, and if I open it, I see that I have directly access to the data generator. Here I can select the data that I want to simulate in the Akenza platform. So there are two ways to send the data. I can either send the data at a given interval, uh, let's say, for example, uh, every one minute, or I can also send manually the data by clicking on this uh, Send Data Now button. Now, as I've clicked, uh, you see that the data has been received and, uh, for example, the temperature of 25 degrees is now displayed, uh, which corresponds to the temperature I selected here by default. I can also select manually the data that I want to send. So in that case, I click on manual input and I can decide um, to set a, a temperature of 15 degrees, um, humidity of, uh, let's say, um, 30 percent and I can send again the data. The data is received uh, properly and the different data KPIs are uh, updated accordingly. So now that I selected an interval of one minute, if I come back uh, I see that the data generator is turned on and will continue sending data every minute. The generation of the data will continue for as long as you have the Akenza browser tab open. So as you can imagine, the data generator is perfect if you want to test the triggering of a specific rule in the Akenza platform, or if you want to consume data over the API, or test a specific output connector. You can do everything with the data generator. And that's it about the data generator of Akenza. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.